Southeastern Australia's crippling drought may be officially over, but many farmers are still struggling in its wake. They say the federal government is withdrawing drought assistance too soon. As winter approaches, conditions on many farms across the southern tablelands are tight once again. The pastures are green, the skies overcast, but appearances can be deceptive. We've got a little bit, a bit of green there, but there's no, no clover germinating. There's little nutritional value in pastures left over from spring on the New South Wales southern tablelands. It's starting to get fairly critical because we need rain to give us some winter growth. I don't think it, it is uh, the grip of drought as we had for the last 10 years, but what we are seeing uh, is some pockets uh, where people are, are quite dry. John Reardon says he's more fortunate than most. We're lucky that we don't have debt, but it has really affected our cash flow. The federal government is currently withdrawing drought assistance paid to the worst affected farmers, but recovery from drought is a slow process. Because people have such low stocking numbers, it's very hard to generate sufficient income um, so quickly after the drought. And uh, I think the, the federal government have been a bit premature taking the assistance away. For a lot of people, it'll take four or five years to get numbers up. Hey up, hey up, hey up. The dry autumn is forcing many farmers to reduce livestock numbers even further. Fortunately, prices are up at the sale yards. And above average rainfall is predicted for the next three months in the southern Tablelands. It can't come soon enough for farmers like John Reardon. Adrian Francis, ABC News, Bungandore.